you know, could always be better. Always work. You know, could always be better. Ah, you know, could always be better. Could always be better. It's impossible to get into a rhythm right now. This place was supposed to create some peace and quiet, but I almost never get two unbroken writing blocks in the same day. I know I'll never get exactly the schedule I want, that's just a fact of life. But that doesn't make it easier to get good work done with everything else going on. Just gotta figure out a way to push through. No other choice, really. This book isn't going to write itself. No, I don't want to explore your memories. Grabs a firewood bill bonfire on the beach. Hello? Yeah, hi. At this point, I don't know what's... It's probably me who's not getting this story, but right now I don't get anything of this story anymore. Um, and it, it, it feels like... Hey, Mom. It feels like the... Some of the choices don't even exclude themselves. You can have your, you can have your mm. office closed. You can have your office closed. You can have your office closed and work on that stuff. You can have um, dinner at seven and you can teach Tommy. Was it his name? I think you can teach help Tommy with his reading but not both parents at the same time let Dan write you can get it I don't know what what it is I I don't know what is I'm, regarding the hiking six hours is God Dang far away when you have a huge forest right in front of all the windows in your studio. Yeah, I'll take the firewood and then... I don't know. How many light years is that one away? Who's the bay? City in the screen. Doesn't say it. Let's take the firewood. That would be family, quality family. How about you make a bonfire at the beach at 7 p.m. and have family time? How about oh, that? Yeah. Um, oh, wait, 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 we got... Yeah, could go camping. Um... Wait. Diary of K. Williams. That's nine years before... That other one brought the, bought the house. May 15th, 1952. It's late, but I must record my thoughts. Perhaps it will help me make some sense of them. I should not say thoughts, as there is only one thought in my mind. Okay, dash dash. I look back, but... I look back, but a week and see that when I arrived, my only thought was of Jay being gone. That said thought has been replaced by another. What if I were gone as well? I feel regret in the simple writing of these words. But if I am truthful, it is not a thought that has been that has occurred to me before. I cannot be sure whether I cannot be sure where it came from. It is almost as if it was put in place by something I do not understand. I must think of my family and their headache. Our children have lost one parent. I could not bear to hurt them again, though they are all grown and have no practical need of me. Yet, I had no strictly practical need of Jay. And look at where that loss has left me. 
perhaps I'll venture into town tomorrow. Maybe some stranger unknowing will show me some kindness. Some small things. Some small thing that plants a seed of hope. Oh. Ah, dinner. Okay, so Mr. K. Williams. Okay, hiking. Does Linda want to go on a hike and drive for that six hours? Really? Oh, please, no. Let's take the rocket. I assume Linda will want to go hiking at a place six hours away while there again is a forest right in front of your house. And why the heck are you here for three months? Um, ye, six, driving six hours? I, okay, I'm not exactly sure where you are, but driving six hours for a hike? What? Light. Linda got the phone call. Might work. Dan, big news. Got a call from Bracket Books in Eugene. <laughs> An eagle river. And I want you to do a reading from Windsong. Maybe even some. Is Windsong one of her books? <coughs> I mean, probably. It's probably just one of her books. Maybe even some Q&A, some book signings, all that good stuff. I think you should do it. In fact, I'm going to be pretty pissed if you don't. Bracket is a big outlet, and so if this goes well, orders for the new book will definitely go up. Oh, that's nice. I don't need to remind you how long it's been since Tramer's Way came out. Okay, Tramer's Way, Wind Song. Two of his books, probably. If you don't keep your name out of there, no one will even notice when you finish the new book, whatever. It's called. Hell, speaking of the new one, why don't you read some of it too? Jesus. Paul. It's not even finished. Maybe the second chapter you sent me last month. That was one pretty good. That one was pretty good. Bracket books. Eugene. The 21st. See you there. P.S. You know the long game, right? Nailing this one could mean a bigger advance on the next book. Jesus Christ, Paul, you are a publisher. You should know that it takes time to write a book and then it takes a few edits to that book. And maybe even some major changes to the chapter he is reading. So, no. God damn it. The old book, yes. The new book, no. Paul, why? You should know that. You are a publisher. There's never something in the toilet. I walked out to the bluff to remember Grandma Joe and say goodbye. 
And on the way back, I started thinking about what it really means to have a family, to make that your focus. She seemed to take such joy in being surrounded by her family, providing for them, taking care of them. I hope I never took that for granted. When I got back to the house, a question hit me that I can't get out of my head. What will Tommy think about Dan and me when he gets older? And what if Tommy has kids of his own? I can't even begin to think of myself as a grandmother. I haven't even been a mother for that long and I'm still feeling my way through what it means to be a good one. At least I'll always have an example. I miss you, Grandma Jo, and I'll never forget you. I promise. Hey, Mommy. Oh, hi, honey. Uh, I don't know what this picture shows. This week, Joe's tuna casserole and salad, mom's crackpot. Okay, you shifted Monday. Um, okay, you shifted a crackpot from Wednesday to Monday that week. How many weeks are you here? Meatloaf, mashed potatoes and broccoli, shrimp, scampi and spaghetti. Like ZT, I don't know what the ZT is. Crack pork. I'm sorry. I'm keep. I'm keeping. <laughs> I keep reading crack pot. Pork chop. Crack pork. Three bean salad. Curd cheese and tomato soup. Again Saturday. Again on Saturday the tomato soup. Ooh, a clue. Call post. Call Paul first. <laughs> Better. Better call Paul. First thing tomorrow morning and a puzzle way to move it. Question mark. Is this thing announced yet? Question mark. But you don't you don't read from your new book, Paul. You should know that po books get edits up and down. Mark the 21st of this month on your calendars. For one day only, watch the world famous Fighter 5 as they scream across the sky. Witness death defying feats of flying in the display, unlike anything you've ever seen. Guaranteed to blow your mind away. Don't miss it. What the heck is that? Can I zoom? Airshow. Anne, I just got off the phone with Mom. She told me about Grandma Joe. I know we expected it sooner rather than later, but this is hitting me so much harder than when Granddad died last year. Do you remember going to Grandma Joe's house after school on Wednesdays and playing until Mom got off work? How Grandma Joe always had a surprise for us? Even if it was just cookies in the oven, she'd always time it so the whole house would smell like them when we got there. I hope the minister captures those little moments because they don't seem as little now. I wish the circumstances were different, but it will still be good to see you at the funeral. What am I saying? You probably won't even get this until after the funeral. I guess I just needed to write anyway. Love, Linda. Suitcase. Most of you here knew my grandmother. For those who didn't, I truly wish you had. She was an example for all of us. Her warmth, her caring, and her smile were impossible to forget. It's still hard for me to believe she's gone. Without her, the world is... Joe's funeral's the same day as the signing in Eugene. 
and Paul says they can't move it. He'll understand if I bail because he knows Linda, but Grofield is a different story. They won't give a damn why I missed it. They'll just get a memo and put it in a spreadsheet somewhere and write me off just a little bit more. And it's not just the timing. If I do the reading, I've got to get that chapter in shape. It's not even remotely ready for anyone to see it. Can't worry about what Paul says. He's my agent. He's supposed to stroke me. And what about Tommy? Yeah, but Paul is a dick. If everyone will understand when you're going to a funeral. Paul is a bad publisher because he 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 well, he will probably force you to to read the chapter which isn't even finished. If he oh wait he's an agent he's not his publisher he's he's his agent. I don't get it. I don't get the situation. Isn't he with a publisher? What does what does the agent do in that case? Okay. I, I hope that the publisher has a, has a very serious word with Paul about um uh about publishing unfinished material. Okay. Um. Oh, it's downstairs again. I'm sure she is. Huh? Is she in heaven? I want to see the planes from the magazine. Here we go! But mommy seems so sad. Didn't know your grandma, Tommy? You didn't know her? Maybe. Um. Huh? Uh, I mean, I mean. What's your name? Dan? Dan? Lynn, I'm so sorry. Tell me what I can do. Just be here for me. I could tell Linda and Tommy were disappointed, but I wouldn't have been any fun on vacation anyway. Too stressed about getting to the finish line. I did try to have a little fun with the bonfire, which could have been described as roaring, for a good 30-minute period anyway. Getting out of the house turned out to be a good idea, too. Spending the night on the beach reminded me of a church retreat we did back in seventh grade. The smell of the bonfire gave me such a strong memory of a crush I had on Jenny something. Or was it Jennifer? I can't remember. But I do remember those flushed schoolboy emotions. I think I can use those for the scene at the dance. That's nice. That's nice. Let's do some serious work on that chapter first. And Linda locked herself in with a painting. Thanks. Oh wait, painting. Okay, that looks like someone is drowning and sticking his hand out of the water. Um, Linda? Linda, where are you? Linda? Linda, 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 there you are. Thoughts? Explore the memory. Hi, honey. Hey, mommy. So much for Ochoco. I wish I hadn't done so much research to find sights and trails, because now I keep catching myself daydreaming about them instead of working. 
I still need to get out of the house. I've done the ridge trail probably 15 times now. It hardly seems worth it anymore. Finding new spots is half the point. I guess tomorrow I'll check in town and see if there's a local guidebook or ranger office. Maybe there's something I haven't found yet. Something nearby is still better than nothing. But six hours to drive to... So okay, I guess maybe it's a little bit close, but six of Portland? Uh, where's Portland? I don't know. Um, I don't have a map. Uh... Wait a second, I need to investigate further. She's not in here, then she's upstairs in that room. <laughs> he needs to call and buy a ticket. Buy it, what? Here we go. And said she could be there in a few hours. I just had to call. She and I'll do some serious work on the chapter first. He needs a call to buy a ticket if he's coming to the funeral. Pronoun game. Want to see the planes from the magazine, but mommy seems so sad. Okay, a good then time? you're not yep. going to the book signing because family is more important <laughs> than anything else. Hi, Mom. She I'm sorry. needs. Hi, honey. She knew I loved her. He has one chance to fix things. Oh, we are done. Who? He needs to call and buy a ticket. He is coming to the funeral. Uh, I want everyone to go to the funeral because funeral is more important. Uh, if Tommy knew, what's her name? It's not Ellie. It's someone saw something else. And I just got off the phone. But, 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 but Joe, Grandma Joe, or was it her grandma? So if Tommy knew Joe, then he would probably come with. And if not, then one of those parents will go. Hey. It's probably her. When there's a Hi. funeral at the same Hi, day as that one, it's family. Family first. Family goes first. That's looking and good, Tommy. Dan, Dan, if you, if you knew Grandma Joe, you, Grandma Joe will be nothing else. You will be thinking like. doing that, doing that book signing. So. Uh, go to the funeral. Go, go mm. to the funeral. Um, if, 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 if Tommy didn't know her, then, and it's Linda's grandma, then Tommy will stay with Dan. I remember his name. They go to a theme park, Hi. rocket park, that one from yesterday, I think. Uh, and she goes to the funeral. Otherwise, everyone goes to the funeral. What do I say? Keep together for Tommy. I, I suppose calling means they will go to the funeral, so... I select the phone.
Ayrshire.